you have to draw the tangency problem right on the screen so first of all we are going to be drawing our center line which is going to be a thin thin long chain line then we are going to pick our set square and draw our vertical line in this manner straight down like this so now we have been given the diameter of the bigger circle above to be 50 millimeter diameter so i'm going to pick 25 millimeter radius on my compass then placing it at the center of this particular place i'm going to draw my circle so now we have been given a smaller circle inside this bigger circle to be of diameter of 32 so i'm going to pick radius of 16 millimeter on my compass I'm going to pick radius of 16 so using radius of 16 placing it at this particular point also i'm going to draw my circle in this manner now we have been given another line at the bottom here which two circles are attached to and the distance of the line from this top line is actually 60 millimeter so i'm going to pick 60 millimeter from this particular place 60 millimeter like this now i'm going to draw another center line again from this point i'm going to draw another center line at this point now we have been given the distance from this center to this first circle here to be 32 millimeter so i'm going to mark 32 millimeter on on my ruler here then we have been given the distance of this place to be 40 millimeter so i'm going to mark 40 millimeter at this point so now i'm going to be drawing vertical lines to those points short vertical lines making use of thin lines please i'm going to draw short vertical lines to those points then draw another one to this point like this now we have been given the bigger circle at this particular places to be of diameter of 25 so i'm going to pick radius of 12.5 on my compass i'm going to pick radius of 12.5 so using radius of 12.5 i'm going to place it at this center here and draw our circle then i'm going to place it at this point also and draw a circle now we have been given the radius of the smaller circles inside to be of radius of 7.5 that is diameter of 15 so i'm going to pick 7.5 on my compass 7.5 then placing it at this center here i'm going to draw i'm going to draw a circle like this then i'll place it at this point also and draw like this so now we have been given an arc in this particular place which is an external arc to be radius of 70 millimeter that is the arc joining these two places together to be radius of 70 millimeter so being an external arc we are going to be applying the principle of addition that is the tangency principle of addition so in order to do that we are going to add radius of 25 that is the radius of this bigger circle here plus 70 first then we are going to be adding the radius of this smaller bigger circle of this part with 70 also so let's start with this 25 plus 70 which is 95 so i'm going to pick radius of 95 on my compass radius of 95 so from this center here i'm going to strike i'm going to strike an arc at this point let me extend the arc a bit i'm going to strike an arc at this point so now we have been given this particular place radius to be 12.5 so 12.5 plus 70 that was going to be 82.5 so i'm going to pick 82.5 on my compass radius of 82.5 then placing it at this particular point here i'm going to strike an arc also so at this point where the both of them are meeting at this point i'm going to pick 70 millimeter radius on my compass 70 millimeter radius on my compass then placing it at this point i'm going to be joining these two points together like this like this so now we have been given another radius here to be radius of 105 and as you can see this particular place is 
an internal act. So we are going to be applying principle of subtraction, agency principle of subtraction for this particular place. So I'm going to be picking 105 minus the radius of this bigger circle here, which is 12.5. So 105 minus 12.5 which is 92.5 so i'm going to pick 92.5 on my compass radius of 92.5 on my compass then placing it at this particular point here i'm going to be striking an arc then i'm also going to place 92.5 here and strike an arc so this point at which they are meeting i'm going to measure 105 placing it at this point where the two the both of them intersect I'm going to be joining these two parts together like this like this okay that's that for that so now we have been given another at this point then if you can look at this diagram very well we can see that there is a straight line coming before this now joins this place together so we are going to first of all draw that straight line first is a straight vertical line so from this point, we are going to draw the straight line first. Now, the arc that is joining this straight line and this place together is radius of 16. So I'm going to be picking 16 millimeter to the to my left hand side. That is 16 millimeter to this place. Then I'm going to draw a straight, a straight thin line downwards like this. That's 16 millimeter from the edge of this place. To this place a very a thin line downwards so now we can see this particular arc is actually an external arc the arc that is in this place is an external arc so we are going to apply principle of addition here also so the radius of this place is 12.5 plus 16 12.5 plus 16 is going to be 28.5 so i'm going to pick radius of 28.5 on my on my compass so placing it at this particular point i'm going to strike an arc to cut this particular line of 16 that we have drawn here so using radius 16 millimeter i'm going to place my compass at this point then i'm going to draw my curve from this point to the place at which it touches this particular line so that is that for this particular diagram we have been given if you found value in this video please do well to subscribe and share with your friends that might be needing it thanks for watching peace